Hey everybody, it's Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome you back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, we took on the Castle Dungeons, and in this episode, we're going to go to the Crypt, which is the... This is, um, arguably, arguably the scariest part of the level is the Crypt. Like, um, it's pretty much everything about is scary. There's like a fog effect, there's... There's like a ghostly demons and stuff, and um, <clears throat> and actually, I think um, one of the coolest thing it, things about the crypt is when you listen to music, you can actually hear like a zombie or something moaning in the background of, of the music itself. Like I've listened to a sound to um, track many times, and I, I'm telling you, you can hear like a mo like the moaning of a ghost in the background. It's like it's really creepy, actually. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, into the we go. Welcome to hell. Yeah. This is, like, the most hellish part of a video game I've ever seen in my life. I mean, like, seriously, it's just awesome. I, it makes me wish that, well, it makes me kind of, you know, disappointed that I didn't take on this part of the game. I didn't get to this point in the game, but by Halloween, like, I wish I could have done this part of the game on Halloween, that would have been really cool. <clears throat> but, I guess December's an okay time to do the crypt. Not really, but... It's still, it's the crypt, nonetheless, okay? Whether it's Halloween or not, it's a scary part of the level. And we should be getting Lanky's... Yeah, we will be. We'll be getting Lanky's Banana Metal. And... Yeah, this is where we got our final upgrade from Funky, and we won't be seeing him until the end of the game, just like I said. Many times before. At least when we originally came here into, into the crypt. Um, in here we have a banana balloon, I'm not sure who it's for. I think it's for, is it for Linky? Oh no, it's for, for Tiny, okay. So let's get Tiny out. Also, the crypt is Creepy Castle's common place for every Kong, okay? So we got... One golden banana for every Kong, right here in the crypt. And uh, <clears throat> this will actually be the last, uh, the last five missions of the level. So pretty much for the most part, we are more than halfway done with the creepy castle. Well, we've been more than halfway done for actually a few episodes now. But yeah, this is actually, this crib right here is my favorite part of the entire game of the Evolved Donkey Kong 64. This is my favorite part. You know, this is a very huge game. And this is my favorite part of it right here. This is what I was looking forward to the entire time, the moment I started to sell P. But, enough of that. We have, there's actually two parts of the crypt, okay? There's this one, and this one is for, um, Tiny and, uh, Lanky, so they both got missions in there. And then, uh, Donkey Kong, Chunky, and Diddy Kong are over there. And, we're gonna do Tiny and Lanky's first, because I wanna save, um, Donkey Kong, Chunky, and Diddy Kong's for last, because that one's probably the, the even sc the scariest one. <clears throat> It's not supposed to scare you, but it's supposed to, you know, look like it should scare you. If you know what I mean. Um, let's get Tiny out first. So, I pretty much just wasted my time there. But that's okay. We should get the last of Tiny's bananas inside the crypt. Or, or the crypt. In we go. Go to hell, Tiny. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so this is the first part of the crypt, and uh, I think Tiny's supposed to go this way, yeah. I just happen to have good memory in my favorite part of the parts of video games. And uh, watch out for the green slime there. And there we go, we have the last of Tiny's bananas, and we'll get the last of our golden bananas right here. So hit the switch now. 
and uh, this thing right here is actually kind of tricky. This is probably the hardest platforming you'll see in this game, mainly because you have to time your jumps exactly right. Like, um, some of these go down faster than others, so some of these hands. And I think you're supposed to. I think it's uh, best to start go straight across. Wait, no, go this way. Yeah, this this might work out better. Oh, there we go. Okay. Awesome. Now, this one right here never goes down, so you're safe on this one, but we still need to get get back, so... Let me get back over there, so... Let's wait for that one to come back up, and then we'll be good. Great. Thank you. And there we go. So Tiny is now officially done with Creepy Castle. Next we're going to do Lanky's part of this crypt. So let's get Lanky out now. Wait. Oh, never mind. Okay. Now in Linky's half of the half of the crypt over here, you're gonna be using his orangutan sprint. And it's not really that easy to get to this part get to his part of the crypt. Because you you literally need the orangutan sprint to get to it. <clears throat> I might need to, to walk all the way to the gate first to see, to memorize the way. And, wait, I should also do it just to get these enemies out of the way. You gotta think, um, well actually no, you don't have to think, but... Notice how the fog is actually kind of green here? Well, that's possibly... I pretty much made a theory myself that maybe... The fact that the fog is green right here could have something to do with the with the green slime that's in the crypt. Just something to think about. It's, it's really minor though. So this is why you need um, Linky's orangutan sprint, okay? <clears throat> because this gate is going to open when you press that when you hit that grape switch in the beginning of the crypt, and that will allow you to. Um, that'll allow you to get here because you only have like a six seconds, no, like ten seconds, I think, to get to get over there. It may not seem like much, but it's possible if you have the ring of sand sprint. So let's do this. Okay, now aim right at it, then jump right. Okay. Um, wait, no. Shoot, then jump out and get into the barrel. Okay. Okay. Run like hell. And do not run into enemies, because if you run into enemies, then you're screwed. You're not gonna make it. Okay, there we go. Oh no, we're locked in! No, we're not. Oh, let's get these. I forgot to say, go to hell, Lanky, when we enter the crypt. Okay, I'll just do that with the Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Chunky. And there we go, we now have all of Lanky's bananas. Now again, watch out for the green slime here, and once you use the Lanky's music pad, it's obvious what you have to do. There's actually re something really funny that happens when you get the golden banana in here. Just watch. Oh, wait. Dang it. I didn't do it. Normally when you grab the golden banana, Lanky will suddenly like go... Hovering into the air for no reason. Uh, 
Wow. Nice. Well, I guess I couldn't resist a good fail there. Alright, let's go. So that's it for Lanky and Tiny's Crypt. Now for the... the other one. Let's start with Diddy Kong now. I know this time. There should be a banana balloon up there for Diddy Kong. Come on. Dude, get the... Wow, it goes pretty fast. There we go. Okay, we got some coins over here. Get that out of the way. Just clomp out of the way. Alright, now we are ready for Diddy Kong's part of the crypt. So, go to hell, Diddy Kong. Dude, wow, this is like, look how trippy this is, it's like red and stuff, it's like all demonic. It's like the most demonic part of a video game I've ever seen in my life. A lot of people out there are probably like streaming like, hey, you're, you have no experience on video games then, because there's like a whole bunch of, there's stuff out there way scarier than this, yeah. I'm not really good at imitating trolls, am I? <laughs> Okay, in this crypt, since it's uh, big enough, you actually, the game actually gives you banana port pads in here to make it a little more simple to get to each of their, each of the Kongs, uh, banana, uh, each of the Kongs parts of the crypt. Um, so Chunky's is the third banana port. Donkey Kong's is the second banana port. And, uh, Diddy Kong's will be the first one. So now when we come back in here with, uh, Chunky and Donkey Kong, then we can make this a bit more simple. Alright, now, here's Diddy Kong's part of the crypt. And there we go, we got his... Uh, banana, banana melt. I just need to stop saying that. Okay, in here, you have a... Uh, so you got four number pads on this on this uh, coffin here. And, uh... First, you want to hit it. You want to hit it the wrong order, okay? Because that will allow you to get that banana balloon inside the coffin there, okay? You can't get it unless you unless you get the order wrong. So you have to practically have to get the order wrong if you want to get 100% in this game. Well, actually, I don't think all the all the balloon all the bananas are required for 100%, but still. And he got coins inside this one. So now we know that the last of uh, Diddy Kong's 15 bananas are going to be in the in the form of the ones that are around the castle outside. So now we're going to hit these in the correct order, and that should get us the golden banana. Okay, now we're going to exit the 
gifts, and then we'll do Chunky's next. But apparently we're gonna have to end off the episode there, unfortunately. Okay, so we're gonna end things off here. So, thank you for watching episode 79 of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In the next episode, we will take on Chunky and Donkey Kong's side of the crypt, and hopefully, we will be able to finish off Creepy Castle at that point. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. I'm Multiclass Gamer, signing out. See you guys later. Bye.